So good morning. Welcome to Leon. I'm Cheryl. I'm an ex-Google software engineer and now director of ecosystem at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So today, I'd like to look at how Kubernetes has grown to be one of the largest open source projects today, how that success is changing expectations around open source, and what that means for companies. So the mission of the CNCF is to foster and sustain open source projects around cloud native. The CNCF hosts more than 40 projects, of which the largest and most well-known is Kubernetes. Kubernetes is rare, if not unique, in the open source world, in that it was defined very early on as both a project and a community. And there was a very conscious effort to expand the group of people who could be part of that community. So, Let's look at the journey that Kubernetes has taken since joining the CNCF. Kubernetes is made up of 1.1 million contributions on GitHub from 35,000 contributors from more than 2,000 contributing companies. And these contributions are getting more diverse. So Google and Red Hat the two highest contributors to Kubernetes, have continued to increase their contributions. But their overall percentage is shrinking as many other companies are getting involved. And the contributions to Kubernetes come from dozens of countries. And the geographic diversity is increasing over time. So it backs up what Erica was just saying about how important it is that we continue to provide access and allow people from across the globe to be involved. So this graph shows the 30 highest velocity open source projects across three axes. So the x-axis is the number of commits, the y-axis is the number of pull requests and issues, and then the size of the bubble reflects the number of authors. So Kubernetes is the pink ish bubble to the top middle, and just to the right and above that is Linux. KubeCon Cloud NativeCon continues to grow. This year, 23,000 people are expected to attend across KubeCon North America, Europe, and China, including 12,000 people in San Diego next month. And many big names have successfully adopted cloud-native technologies. At the same time, this success is setting new expectations. The first is that in cloud-native, open source is the default. One government agency told me, if we wanted to use open source, it would have taken six months to get approval. but." all CNCF-hosted projects are automatically approved, which makes it really easy to adopt. And as a result, cloud containers and cloud-native computing expertise is very greatly in demand. So one consultancy even asked me, how do we find 75,000 engineers with Kubernetes experience? Um, I told them, good luck. So, it's actually in companies' best interest to be active and involved and engaged with open source communities. In this survey, it shows that large tech companies are more likely to be actively encouraging it through an open source program or initiative. And one company said to me, if we, it's not an option for us not to do open source. If we don't get involved with Cloud Native and take the lead, we're going to fall behind our competitors. So we'd like you to come with us on the next stage of the journey. And we'll be in San Diego next month or in Amsterdam in March, early next year. These slides are at my blog, oishow.com. Thank you very much.